Welcome to our podcast. We apologize. <laughs> Welcome to another Techno Babble podcast. I don't even remember what episode this is, but this is sort of a special. Three thousand and forty. Sure, that's we'll go too that. many. It's too many. It's we haven't too many. Got, we haven't even gotten into fifty yet. Oh, so 30, 40. 30, 30, 30, 40 <laughs> Craig. That yeah. is a type of ammunition. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. For yes. a uh, very, very, very cool gun. That's, well, this isn't the gun podcast. This is so not can't... the gun podcast. Yeah. This is the Techno Babble podcast. Specially podcasting about E3. Yeah. The Electronic Entertainment Expo. Which basically just means video games and not a lot of tech involved. Unless someone comes out with something cool in the next conferences, but uh, we only saw EA so Yeah, far, we're, so. we're focusing on EA today. EA today. EA today. We have a special guest that never shows up anymore. Yeah. Cynthia's here. Yeah. Huh? I'm like the elusive, you know, ghost figure that shows ghost, up. Ghost, you're like that little flying machine thing in Destiny 2. That's yeah. not what I was going for. Oh. You're like Peter Dinklage, but then he was bad at it, so he turned into Nolan North. That's what you are. <laughs> Wait. What are you talking about? What? You guys didn't know that? What? The original Destiny, Peter Dinklage did the voice for the ghost. What? Yeah, but then he was horrible. Really? Like he really phoned that one in. Which, oh, okay. Yeah. Well. So then they, they redid all of his lines with Nolan North as the ghost now. So. I didn't know that. Yeah. But Destiny 2... It's like, it's I, I like Peter time. Dinklage. He Wait, so am I in. Peter oh. Dinklage in this story? And then you turned it into Nolan North, yeah. Now I'm Nolan North? Yeah. Or I came back as Peter Dinklage. You came back as Wait, Nolan okay. North. Okay, Nolan North is who? Who's that? That's He does like every voice ever. Like okay. uh, Nathan Drake. Oh, yeah, right. He did okay. Deadpool sometimes. Every other right. voice in Most the gaming characters, industry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Everyone else... He does everyone it, it, that James Arnold Taylor does it. Or, yeah. or uh, Troy Baker. Yeah. Or Troy Baker. There's oh, only yeah. three yeah. people. Three people. Yeah. And then all the, all the women are Jennifer Hale. Yeah. yeah. All of them. Every, Every single one. one. Basically. Yeah. Okay. That's how it works. That's good because she's, she's good at it. Yeah. Anyway, we, 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 this, we're talking about Activision now. We even got that. <laughs> yeah, we just... <laughs> Activision. <laughs> uh, EA, they did a thing today yeah. called a press conference. And, yep. Um, before E3, technically. This well, is, E3 starts Monday or something, doesn't it? Or... Well, no, the end of the week? I don't know. No, it starts today. It's a pre-show right. conference, isn't it? Is it today? Well, tomorrow they have more conferences. Well, yeah, but it's not E3. But Monday. it's not officially E3. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know how that went. That yeah, whole... that's what I mean. The important part of E3, which is the online stuff that we can watch. Yes. Because we didn't go, because it's really far away. It is. You know what, though? It's cheap to get there. And we're quite lazy. Because that's, that's in Vegas, right? So... Yeah, I think it's in Vegas. Yeah, we should go sometime. Just Do you know Vegas how many or LA? people would be there? Oh, maybe so it might be in LA. LA would be a little more expensive. Yeah, you're right. Anyway. Whatever. Somewhere out westerly direction. Yeah, somewhere not here. Yeah. So, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we started out with a, a little boring. Things, we things went started. in expecting it to be boring, didn't we? We did. I sure did. Yeah. You I wasn't even, expecting you hardly even, anything. I wasn't even half paying attention. No. I was, I was opening Oculus. new PC parts yeah. for my computer. <laughs> that was more interesting. It is. It is more interesting. We can talk a little bit about them later, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, what did we start with? Sports? We started out with, uh, yeah, there's a, there's the opening montage. Yes, I missed that. Um, Which, lots of by sports. the way, was the same as the closing montage. Oh, it was the same yeah. one? It was the same oh, okay, one. Yeah. so I did miss it then. All right, all right. <laughs> I feel like EA didn't put a lot of effort in, but we'll, no. get, we'll get into that. They phoned it in just like Peter Dinklage. Yeah, they, oh. they, Peter Dinklage is the whole... That's bad, because he's actually a good actor. People he are going to hate on this. <laughs> That's in, okay. But in Destiny, he did not... No, he didn't even try. Uh, anyway, I'm going to bring up my notes here because I made notes. Yeah, Dan made notes. I didn't. I yeah. just pretty much said, okay, it sucks. So after the opening montage, we started out with uh, Battlefield V. Or 5. V for... V. Very good. I think it's pronounced Battlefield 5. Oh. But it's a V for some reason. Like Final Fantasy 5. They're using yeah. Roman numerals because that's a cool thing to do. Now, there was a rumor that the V was actually for victory... I don't know. Anyway. That's very... I suppose it could be. V. V for Battlefield peace. Vote. Yeah. Uh, in war. World War II is the main the main thing we got from that. World War II? Now, this, okay. they did they did an opening trailer for this 
well in advance of E3. So I think we all did. We all see that. Yeah. We we saw that. Yeah. And there was a big controversy, but uh, we don't need to get too far into that. I Who suppose. Who cares? But uh, there's a historical accuracy question, but we're, we're, that's fine. It's a video game. The the real thing with this E3 conference that I noted with Battlefield Five was that they showed a little bit, but it was mostly like, you know, cinematic stuff. Yeah. And there wasn't a lot of talk about it. So it was like, here's a cinematic, and everyone's yeah. like, okay, and then they just moved on. Yeah. I'll say so, it looks good, but it look everything on Frostbite, as far as I can tell, looks good. Yes. Uh, so that's not hard to do, it seems. To me, it looks a lot like Battlefield One. Slightly better, which makes well, sense. Yeah. Um, so pretty close to that. Now I was surprised at how little they talked about it because it's coming out in October. So like, it's got to be almost ready. I would expect so they just brush past it like nobody cared. Which I was like, that's interesting. But uh, not a lot of talk about that. Just I don't really good. care either, to be honest. <laughs> it looks. It looks. I mean, it looks okay, but I'm just. Uh, I've only, I only ever, like, the last Battlefield that I liked was 1942, which is, like, ancient, so... Yeah, that's uh, a while ago. Did you play 43 back on the 360? No. It was, like, that mini game. Yeah, no, I never played it. It was, like, free or something? I, I played, I, I think, at 1942, and I played 2142 or something, which was... Yeah, the uh, future one. Which was... That was fun. I like that. That was cool, that too. That, that was a while ago. A long time ago. Uh, Battlefield 1, as someone that played it, uh, and I, I'm a big fan of the Battlefield franchise, normally... Mm-hmm. Battlefield 1 was a bit of a disappointment there's a lot of things they did that was that were questionable um, nothing as bad as Battlefront <laughs> but oh. uh, it was it was it was an odd it was an odd game uh, this one that looks like a bit more return to form looks like they did some interesting stuff with movement and try to fix a lot of the issues so we'll see I, I, I'm reserving judgment on that one but uh I don't know they, they had uh, they had a few little shots of in-game uh, play there very very few very quick as well. Yeah. Um, the graphics didn't really impress me that much. But I'm playing Destiny 2 right now, so... <laughs> it does look good. Yeah. What'd you think? You really didn't care. War, did guns, tanks. Pew, pew, pew. War, yeah. stuff, yeah. The same game again. Like, it that's is. what I see, <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. It's, it's I, I agree. It's pretty much the same thing to me, too. But, yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I would be just as happy going back and playing Battlefield 3 or 4. There you Probably go. more happy, but, you know, I always keep tabs on it. Mm-hmm. Um, next up, we had sports. And none of us are really into sports, so disclaimer, we probably don't care about any of this. Uh, they showed FIFA 19. That was the big highlight. So, graphically, that game with FIFA is always stunning. Uh, that's that, that hasn't changed. It's true. But uh, it's still just soccer. Although you point out the movement looks funny and it always does. But that's, true. that's sports games in general. I always find that the movement always looks weird because I think what they do is they do like motion capture for like people's like dance moves or rolls or whatever the heck that they do. But <laughs> the it, the running part, they don't like motion capture that part, I swear, because they look weird. Well, because I usually don't see a problem until they suddenly have... it's you're making a move that the computer wasn't anticipating you were going to do, so the animation looks kind of janky. But, I mean, that's I've noticed that at least with the baseball game. I like the, yeah, but the show. But Yeah, know. that's not the EA, though, right? That's, uh, no, it's Sony. Sony's they something. do it better. Yeah. Well, I, you, I mean, maybe they would if they did, had different sports, too. But I haven't played a sports game in a long time. I uh, never played FIFA. Wasn't I'm not a big fan of soccer. I thought so, about buying it. That I think that it came out on the Switch. I thought oh, I might be interested in playing the Switch, and I didn't do it because like, I'm playing a shooter on there. <laughs> yes, shooter on the Switch. Shooter on the Switch. Really um, the, the, I will say that uh, the fifty they're doing the they did nineteen. Is it? Is they did a new trailer for that? Yeah. And they did eighteen FIFA eighteen, which is one that's out now. Yes, I believe. Yes, they're doing a World Cup event. Because yeah. the World Cup's coming up, apparently. They had some kind of special trophy on the stage, and we're looking at... We had no idea what that, that meant. <laughs> but I, I it's think probably it the was... Stanley Cup of soccer things, but I don't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's kind of what it was supposed to be. It mean nothing the, to me. The one guy was having a moment. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was going on about something, and we were talking about it. The, the announcer guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we, we didn't watch it that closely, because as soon as they get into sports, whenever they get into sports in the EA events, I'm like, well... They haven't made me a, an NHL game for PC in a long time, so I don't care anymore. That's my that's my stance. 
But uh, they did. They had Madden. There was a that's, Madden. That yeah. was later. That yeah. was later. Oh, it was later. Am I skipping ahead? I'm sorry. Let's not skip around. Don't skip I know. Around. We like squish them together in our brains. Why did they do all the sports at the same time? Because they have to break it up. Oh, because just sports. Do sports. It's too much sports. <laughs> uh, next up, we talked about uh, the streaming service they're coming out with, which to me is interesting, but I guess you didn't really care about it at all. Um, Remember demoing... when I told you maybe a month ago when they bought that streaming service? That this is coming? Yeah. <laughs> yep, you're right. Uh, apparently they had a demo of it at the E3 uh, show floors. Not for us, but uh, of actual uh, HD streaming of video games. They showed it to a phone. They showed it to whatever devices, all the devices under the sun look like. Mm-hmm. Um so that was, I think that's coming, and uh, yeah, you predicted it, but, uh, I mean, PlayStation already has an, has PS Now working. Uh, in, uh, yeah, it, to me, it's just weird to see it coming from a single company, as yeah. opposed to a distribution, like, well, cause from Nvidia Sony or from has Microsoft or something. NVIDIA has GeForce Now yeah. in beta, which is the same, yeah. same kind of idea. Um, so yeah, that might overlap a little, but it sounds like they want to charge their own service, like... To pay service, um, and then, you know. If, ideally, EA wouldn't want to pay anybody for anything. You just charge. Just charge their own service. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of their thing. Like for example, Origin. Uh, they announced Origin Access Premier, uh, which already you guys didn't really haven't really used Origin Access. Because I don't really care for EA games. Usually. I I that's only fair. use just Origin. I yeah, Origins. They're just their platform. Yeah, I don't use Origins. Origin Access was a subscription that lets you play any of the games in their vault. Yeah. While you're active, it's five bucks a month, US. And uh, I, I honestly, I've used it a couple times. I think it's pretty cool that they do that. It's a cheap way to play their games. No, I don't have a lot. I don't have same as Jeb. I don't have interest in a lot of their newer games. Mm-hmm. But there's quite a bit in there that, that you can check out. Um, the Premiere looks like they basically just copied Game Pass from Xbox, saying all of our games are coming out in Premiere, and you can just. Subscribe to us, and if they, which I think is great. If they're if they're going to do that, they say, okay, well, you pay us ten bucks a month to play our newest games. You can play for a month for ten bucks and be like, yeah, your name, keep playing or don't. I think that's a great way to do it because if you don't like it, you're not at a lot of money, and if you do like it, you keep playing. You know, so I'm just waiting it's worth it for to game prices to go up again because everybody starts subscribing to this crap. I think like physical copies will go up and everything. Well, not just physical copies, but straight up digital copies too. I mean, they charge eighty dollars for ones and zeros now. You don't yeah. even get a physical anything out of it. So I'm yeah. just I'm waiting for I don't know. The prices are going to get really wonky here eventually. It might go a little crazy. Yeah. Now, in theory, this the subscription services should work out to your advantage at least short term. We'll see how it turns out there. But see, it only works out to your advantage if you're not subscribing to a hundred different other things. And that's the thing. Right. You're doing that now because everybody's pushing you into that kind of model. Mm-hmm. Because everybody wants a continuous stream of revenue. I understand the financial aspect of it. Yeah. I get it. But I feel like we're getting subscribed to death at this point. Everything you're not wrong. is doing it. Uh, see, so the thing part of it is, is you really have to keep track of what you're subscribed to and why you're so, still subscribed to something if you're not using it, right? That's the main yeah. thing. Which is why I don't like the auto renew. Which, yeah. and I've, I've been playing around with Xbox Game Pass, like since I got the Xbox One X. I've, I've stopped now, but I was playing Sea of Thieves with it. Mm-hmm. And they have a handy thing where like, it automatically resubscribes you, but there's a, you can go on there and say, don't automatically renew. Which is really nice. You don't have to like enable, cancel, enable, can't. You can just say renew, don't renew. It's like yeah. a quick, easy way to do it. <laughs> so as long as they do it like that, I think it's okay. Yeah. And you're only using it like if I'm only I'm only subscribed when I'm using it, kind of thing, mm-hmm. on a month to month basis. Which is it's still better than trying than paying eighty bucks for a game, playing it for a month, and then you're out eighty bucks. Well, not if only if you're like me, you go and trade your games in, so you're never that's true. eighty dollars. Well, you always get make some back. You have by the initial in. purchase, and then you're always trading. <laughs> which in. is why I still buy physical so, games for console. Yeah. You can't do it for PC anymore, no. which is where I play most of my stuff. But uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, so a lot of times, what happens now on PC, I if I if I'm not sure about a game, like if it's a game, I'm like, okay, I love this franchise, I love this developer, I'm buying it for eighty bucks. That happens. If it's a game where I'm like, well, maybe, I usually wait for a sale, right? Just to be on the safe side. Now you don't have to wait for sale. You can just jump right in and play. <laughs> and then unsubscribe if you don't like yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, there's, there's, there's advantages, advantages to that. It's on demand, sure. that on-demand thing that everyone's there's, trying to go for. Yeah, no, there's absolutely advantages to it. I just, I feel like everybody 
is doing the subscribe thing and it's starting to too many subscriptions. I I get you. I feel you. No, that's a definitely a good point. But, but uh, uh, I, it's it was inevitable they were going to do something like this, uh, like that anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to copy Microsoft's ideas pretty much for the most part. They seem kind of joined. Back. Like the EA, because you have EA Access Joined at with, the hip. Yeah. Because you already had the EA Access with I, the Xbox. I feel like their yeah. their partnership is very, very close. Yeah. Um, so there was rumors that they there might was, buy them, right? Microsoft might buy EA at one point, but that was... Microsoft <laughs> wouldn't gain anything out of it. At this point, they're kind of joined anyway, so I don't know what the... Uh, EA could possibly gain from it to, you know, have an exclusive platform that they can make stuff for. But and it, the whole person, I mean, I don't think gain anything. I think it just loot. PlayStation loses out, and that, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty well it. Yeah. Which would be, I think, would be enough for Microsoft to do that. It's still uh, an advantage to, for them, yeah. to bar them from getting those games, but um, it's it's a lose lose situation for gamers. So, right, yeah. Unless you have an Xbox. Well, because one of the nice things about EA right now, and there's not a lot of nice things, but one of the nice things about them is that they're all almost always, like, plat all platforms can play. Yep. Games, yep. Which is very nice. Because a lot of, some of them don't work like that. No, nope. That's right. And it's kind of annoying for people that have one of the consoles or even two of the consoles and not the third one or only have computer. Like, it, it, you know, it's annoying to have to buy all the, all the devices if you want to play all the games you want to play. So it's nice that they, it is they true. do that. And usually Ubisoft does that as well. For the most part, but yeah, they're pretty good at it too. Even if you don't like you play, I don't have a problem with it. But it's yeah, I don't I don't like you play, but the way they can do it with Steam is a lot better now. Have you used that recently? Uh, yeah, because I bought some. Yeah, what I bought. They have like a Steam app that links to you play. I got a game. What did I get? Something. Shoot, mm -hmm. I don't even remember. Something. But it's, it pops up. It pops up. Oh, you play. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, and then just so you have to install a Uplay app that links it, but yeah. you don't have to actually use the yeah. interface. Yeah, I which never is nice. installed it. Yeah, I never. So it's annoying, it. but it's a lot nicer yeah. than it used to be. Yeah. Now if they just get rid of the Uplay thing altogether, you know, and just like, let you play on Steam or Uplay, yeah. that'd be fine. But, yeah. So <laughs> you think you'd do, do what um, what CD Projekt Red did with The Witcher on GOG, where they're like, it's cheaper on GOG because we own that platform, but you can buy it on Steam if you want. You know, <laughs> that's that's where it that's got a very, mine, but <laughs> to be fair, but, comparing uh, CD Project Red's practices to other people's practices isn't fair. They're, they're like they're the opposite good. of everyone. Yeah, so yeah. so. so they let you, you pirate their what? games. What do you think about streaming like like Netflix services for video games instead of just buying them outright like traditionally? I look at it as a mortgage, and I don't like those. Well, it's, you're not in debt. No, but it's just like it's like. Again, it was like playing, paying for World of Warcraft when it wasn't playing it anymore. But I had intent to play, but just never did. Oh, I, okay. Like a lot of months wasted. I see you, you can get in that trap. You're like, oh, I'm going to play, and then you just don't. Yeah. But you're like, but I'm going to, but then you don't. I, I, I paid for like four or five months of World of Warcraft, and I didn't even have it installed on my computer anymore. So, yeah. yeah. So maybe, maybe I'm a bit more different about that, because I'm a bit more, I don't know what the right word is, picky. Like, the second I feel like I'm not going to play it, I don't renew, if that makes sense. So like, for me, re you're renewing... really good at that. But I think the streaming service, I think they really, um, n pray is not the right word, but they, they really are, are, are relying on people not oh, like, yeah. cutting well, that that's stuff. Exactly because what it is. people are lazy and they won't yeah. do it. You yeah. know what I mean? So. Yeah, I can um, see that. That's that's what I what I get out of that's, it. That's also, exactly I just rather pay for the game that I want to because there are a lot of games out there that I don't want to give my money to, and mm -hmm. I feel like a streaming service kind of does that. See, I, I, I like that, that they right now. And this may not last, but I like that right now you're getting both options. You can either buy it or you can subscribe. Yeah. And I, I like I like that you have the option personally. Like, options are good in my opinion. But uh, another two or three years, you won't have the, you option. Won't have the option. No, that's no. the fear, right? Yeah, you're 100 percent right on that. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But right now, I think that's kind of kind of cool. That's uh, what, and that comes down to another issue I have. You're subscribing to a digital product; they can turn that product off at any time. So then you can't play the game anymore, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's well, then that's true. You, any digital, then you've put hundreds no, of dollars into something you and you can't it. play it ever. Yeah. And you won't get any yeah. of that money back. You don't get anything. Well, that's a good that's a good uh, good vote against buying microtransaction stuff. 
for mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> they need to stick all kinds of money in something that may never that may well, not be available anymore. I think microtransactions and extra thing. I, I don't think it's the exact same. Thing. Well, but that would that I mean just, that just makes it worse, right? Like if you're. Well, it, your yeah, it's sort of like an extra punch That's in the like gut. The what? Oh, what is our that TV has turned on. Apparently, our TV is. <laughs> it's hurt uh, us. The remote's down there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you can just do that. that we're way. professionals. <laughs> yeah, our TV we're has professionals. decided we should watch more of the YouTube Was that a re, re, re-showing? I'm not sure why I, I was that's doing the, that. That's okay. the after show. It's like, okay. you guys need to watch the after show because you're, you're hitting yeah. it all wrong. Yeah, stop talking <laughs> and start watching. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well. What else, so, man? What else we got? On next up, uh, we, uh, let's see here. Star Wars. Yes, uh, we yeah. had a very awkward interview. Oh, it was the weirdest. Someone from Respawn Entertainment about uh, the new Star Wars game that they're working on. So ever since Visceral got scrapped from their single-player Star Wars game for unknown reasons, mm-hmm. uh, Respawn took over. I think EA bought them. They're the devs of Titanfall. Yeah. And. Uh, and they're making a game that they, they, they dropped the name. That's about all we got. We got no logos, no music, no very un E three presentation here, just some guy talking about it. Well they said when they say it was gonna be ready, uh, <laughs> holiday, holiday twenty nineteen. So which it, to me you'd think about. you'd have something. Like yeah. you wouldn't necessarily have a trailer, but you know, at least a logo. You'd have an yeah. image. An image, concept yeah. art, anything. It nope. seems to be this is all very like seat of the pants thing. Like, no, nah, but didn't he say that they were just t- just starting to talk with Lucas about they getting mean, the rights? He like, they don't about, even have it yet. Uh, I don't know about getting the rights, because EA has the exclusive yeah, Star Wars exclusive rights. Star Wars I think rights. what they're talking about was running the concept past Lucas to get their yeah. thumbs up. So I'm guessing they're taking a lot of what they had already for a Star Wars game and kind of changing it. I'm just, I'm worried that it, like, I don't think it's going to come out holiday 2019. I really don't I doubt, think so. I think it'll get delayed. But I think that's crazy. Oh, we know just it's, like Crackdown. Yes, Crackdown got delayed. Delayed again. Again. Crackdown 3, supposed to be out like twenty end of 2017, wasn't it? And now uh, it's delayed until 2019. Uh, is it now some 2016? Was it 2016? 15? I thought it was supposed to come out end of 2017. They um, delayed it stupid. till like Q2 2018. And now they've delayed it again to 2019. 2019. And just... 2019. They yeah. don't even have no, a month on it. No quarters, no, no nothing. No quarter, no month, no nothing. <laughs> uh, for this game, we, we know it's called Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is a weird name, but that's what he said it was called. I think it's Star Wars and the Jedi, Jedi colon. And Fallen Order. Fallen Order, yeah, maybe. Uh, um, and he said it takes place between episodes 3 and 4. I don't know what that means. I guess between... Well, that what, means there won't be very many Jedi to work with. But it sounds like it, uh, it, it, it's dealing with the fall of the Jedi Order, and it sounds like it's going to overlap with their cartoons. <laughs> like the Re- Star Wars Rebels, isn't that the same idea? Yeah. Supposedly those are supposed to be really good, but I don't want to play a game that looks like that. You yeah, I, mean? I don't know what they'll do I don't with want that the graphics. That animation style. Because um, I don't care for it, personally. It's, it's, I watched some of the Clone Wars cartoon, and it was alright. I don't say it was great. I, I think it was like okay. the original anime style of Clone Wars. Did you? I, I never loved watched that. That, that was yeah. really good. It was very Samurai Jack. <laughs> yeah, and it was quick episodes, like snaps. And that was yeah. cool. the problem I had with that was that I tried to watch it, and it was so at least that way they were showing it on TV. Uh-huh. It was like you had no idea what was going on because the episodes weren't in order. They were like, here's an episode, and here's an episode from a different time, and here's an episode from like it was it was all in uh, order. They showed it I on don't TV think any that. even if you buy it in the thing, there's no particular order to it. It's, it's just, just a little mini events space. happening all over the place. Yeah, it's very story. random. It, it was it was a little too random for me. I'll put it oh, there. I liked it. I really did. Um, but the show is I thought the show was interesting, and I guess Rebels it continues that. Sure. Later on in the future, so I, I haven't seen it, but. But to be honest, it was really. A really stupid little presentation. It, yeah, it wasn't a presentation. Like, I was really was, dumb. Like, they're well, like, it wasn't a presentation. we're going to tell it you. It was a guy sitting, a girl sitting beside a guy talking about a game that doesn't exist yet. Yeah, yeah and he was like, but we're going to tell you about it right now. And then he tells you. And I'm yeah, like, I thought they were going to show a show trailer. Show something. No. Or like, yeah. say, or. Like, I wasn't expecting a trailer, but when he said that, I thought they were going to do that. It was really. But I know a, it lot was of, dumb. a lot of people complain that E three is like all cinematic presentations and no like nitty gritty. I'm like, this was like not any there cinematic. Was not <laughs> it was, much. It was very. It also wasn't nitty gritty. There was no. nothing. I was just, I was just half, sort of. I'm sort of upset. Assed. I'm not going to get to see the Sony one when it's happening because I mean, last year they had an orchestra. Yeah, yeah. there's a very very. Yeah, but they they, they care. 
They've um, always been about presentation. So, anyways. Yeah. So that's about all we can say about that. Yeah. Okay. I, I really would like a really good single player Star Wars game. That would be nice. I would be all for that, but uh, it's probably gonna be multi. And I like respawn. I played. Wait Titan for Fall them too. to say it's VR only. Oh my oh, gosh! Geez. Watch it. Star Trek one was up till uh, November last year. Yeah, which is really that's pretty true. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would, I would. I don't know. I would really like that mm-hmm. if it wasn't VR, and if you it was actually a good storyline. Respawn did Titanfall, and I played the Titanfall two campaign, mm-hmm. and I really liked it. It was a really good campaign. So there's hope. There's hope. Uh, next up, hitting with Star Wars, we had some Battlefront two stuff, where they announced a, an expansion for the the Solo movie. Some content for that, which should be free, like we discussed. Worst Basically. hairdo ever. <laughs> Do you think they'll update the, the characters you can play as young young Han? They showed young, it. They showed. Did they show? I didn't. They I didn't showed it. They showed yeah, it, they right. showed young Han and young what's his name? Young Lando. Yeah. Lando Calrissian. Do they think they have terrible voice actors? Probably. <laughs> uh, the interesting thing they mentioned was that they're going to make it easier to get into squads with your friends, which was a really big problem with Battlefront 2. So a lot of the Battlefield games, it's really easy to join up with a friend, get into your squad, and like go take on the world, right? Mm-hmm. Battlefront 2, no, nah, it wasn't uh, No, it was really hard to do that. So finally, they're putting that in, apparently. Um, they have a new dogfighting mode for just heroes. Do we care? I don't know. You guys didn't even play Battlefront 2, did you? I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I played the first one. It was like, all right, this is beautiful, but it's not a good game. Mm. Um, it was one of the biggest cash grabs to me ever. That's all. Because they just used Star Wars, and that was it. They just sold Star Wars. Well, they released the first game, and they said, oh, the next one's coming. Wasn't it? Didn't they say that? Or was that the next year they said it was coming right away? Or it wasn't that long ago after it. Mm. Like, Battlefront 2 is, like, coming in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is a demo or something then. Very weird. Yeah, this was still they still had problems with two. Two had major server problems. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I. I was well, you trying to play you had that? The whole, I was trying to play that. Didn't you had the whole loot crate fiasco thing? Well, there was that, but even the that was even, in my opinion, that was even the worst part. The worst part was you couldn't even play the game because yeah. you tried to get in there and you're just lagging like crazy all over the place. So. And then the, the they made such a big deal about having that little storyline. It was awful. The, like, five-minute storyline? It was line. such a cool concept, and it was, like, every mission, you jump forward, like, ten years. Like, it was, it was, you had no idea what was going on. It was a waste of time. I don't play it. Apparently, they've added something to it, so I don't know if it's better now, but... Blech. And they, they're adding more Clone Wars content. Hooray. Mm. Oh, that's sorry. Right. To be fair, they actually did way better with the Clone Wars stuff in Battlefront 2, because they incorporated it with the Clone Wars cartoon. Like, all the voice actors were the same. And like they actually called like they did the whole like they're clankers thing and like they sounded like like the cartoon which is more interesting than just trying to re- replicate the first movies because they were awful. Yeah. Um, well, they, they what they also uh, talked about new new heroes coming or something. Yeah. Like yeah. Obi Wan is supposed to Obi Wan's coming. Yeah. yeah. And, and then that fun. one droid guy. The droid guy. Which droid? Grievous. Yeah. General Grievous. General yeah. Grievous. Yeah. Yes. Eternal Rivals, those two. Um, then we went into the part that was uh, more interesting for you, anyway. We went into the EA original section, which is their indies. Way their better games. One. I'm sorry. <laughs> Way better games. They actually games. showed like actual E3 content for these, yeah. so it was a little more interesting. Um, first up there, we had Unravel 2. I want to play this game. Can we play this game? We can play me? this game, yeah. I think that this will be a really fun game. It looks, it looks like a fun co-op game. The original yeah. Unravel was interesting. It was cool. It was not anything like the game. Like well, the, the graphics feel, are beautiful. It feel they they feel a lot like Little Big Planet. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I thought it was alright. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't anything earth shattering. Mm. I think though, making it the two player one that they did now, kind of, uh, have made it like better, like what it should maybe should have been, and I don't know. I just I find it way more interesting. I like games where you can play with two people because I'm not big, uh, because usually it's either you, yourself, or you, and like 50 other 12-year-olds online. (laughs) That's your only choice. Yeah. And I I don't, I don't, I'm not a big, like, play online with people person at all. So, but I do like having some games that you can play with someone else or some other people, you Mm -hmm. know? 
because I feel like I feel like the industry is really missing out on like co-op multiplayer stuff and not like online co-op stuff like sit in the same room as a friend co-op. stuff yeah you know I think there's a few I we, we played what we recently played that lovers in a dangerous space time game. that was a little while ago it was a Christmas time I think, wasn't it? yeah yeah but that, was that, that. Was like that was fun that was fun though kind of that was the fun. switch does a really good job of emphasizing uh Local multiplayer. Nintendo's always been pretty Especially good Especially when it's party. designed with two controllers built into the yeah. uh, system. Um, but yeah, no, it's... But Nintendo's always been that way. They've always been like the party thing. Like, you can always bring, Not you know... Not always. They, they took that on when they started releasing games like Smash Bros. and stuff for the 64 or whatever. Of course, yeah. they had four controller ports as well, too. But before that, it wasn't so much about party. But I feel like they really took it because it's something something unique, which is hard. It's horrible to say it's unique, but it is unique because people don't do that. uh, You don't get that as much anymore since the uh, Xbox Live days and all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I'm interested. We should play that. I think it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Um, Looks gorgeous. Beautiful. Very cute. Yeah, and kind of interesting co-op mechanic where you're tied together and trying to figure out the path and stuff. It looks kind of... Yeah, and you have to work together to get through it, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Uh, there's also another one, uh, Sea of Solitude, which was presented presented by a German lady. I forget her name. Oh, that was the one I didn't understand. You couldn't understand what she, she was saying. Co- Connie. <laughs> her name was Connie. Connie? I remember that. And, uh, and, and she was telling a, a very in-depth story about life and very where, deep. Where this story comes from. That where it comes from. <laughs> yeah. Real man. Oh no, no. I am into this. Yeah. I get exactly what she's going for and I'm super, I really want to play this game. I really want to play this game. So it's about, it's, it's, it, it, it's about what happens to humans when, when loneliness takes over, you kind of become a monster. That's what she, yeah. she says, you know, you go kind of crazy. So I actually remember her saying that. That's about it. Good job, Jeff. Yeah. You were very focused on other things. I was. There's, um, there's technology to play with. But like, <laughs> no, I really like that idea, and I love the art style, and and your basically your mission is to transform back into a human, and I I would assume because you make friends or something, something like that. Friendship. No, oh no. no! We'll find out. It's something because you have to be unlonely, I guess, to be unlonely. Unlonely to be a normal person. You can't be lonely. That was the point. I was actually lonely. honestly afraid when she started. Like, uh, it was interesting what she was talking about, but I was afraid they were. It was just going to be like a spiel, and there's going to be no actual gameplay show. You saw, but it. they showed a trailer after that. Yeah. And uh, the art looks really good. Like really interesting. Yeah. Definitely different, but. Uh, Quite, but I like how beautiful. she was like super passionate, just like um, Unraveled guy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he almost cried at the end. <laughs> that's, the, that's the second time he's been up there. I think and he was last time he was like shaking. Yeah, he almost cried at the end. I think he's just he's so proud of his stuff, and they should be these these smaller. Yeah, it's developers. nice to see them. It's nice to see them because the doing. AAA people just send out whoever whoever got the short straw. I feel sometimes. <laughs> We're talking about that with the Battlefront guy. Yeah. <laughs> like he was employee of the not or not employee of the month. Yeah. Get out there. You talk. You have to face the crowd for our battlefront. So. Yeah. It yeah. Was he, funny. he definitely. Yeah. Short straw. <laughs> Short right. straw on that guy. Yep. That's why it That's was so right. short. He was like, "This is the game. Goodbye." Yeah, we're doing this. Okay, see you later. Don't hate me. Don't throw tomatoes. <laughs> I'm going back to hide in my cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So see us all too. That's supposed to come out early 2019. Was the date on that one? Yeah. So check that one out. Um, let me go back into sports land, Blah. sports world. Uh, NBA Live 19, looks like they're doing a story mode or something in that one now. They just showed, showed a quick trailer. I don't follow basketball or any sports. A little bit of hockey, that's about it. Basketball is probably the most boring sport in the world, in my opinion, so don't don't hate me for that, but that's my opinion. We're going to skip right over that one. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, next up was Madden, and they had this big esports thing with the champion of some Madden Championship that I don't know anything about. Oh, I'm not gonna get. Apparently, that guy was important. I don't know. He, he was, was supposed to be the best player or something. Best player in the Madden tournament. And sure. They had a football player up there. I don't know who he was because I don't football. He skipped. He skipped his graduation. 
Stay out of school, kids. Stay out of school, kids. Play video <laughs> games. That'll get you money. Get that the was money. the in, the whole story. <laughs> I was like, that's so dumb. That's well done, sir. That is well the done. dumbest story. So, yeah, we, we kind of phased out in that section because, again, we're not sports people. So if you're a sports guy and you're like, why are these guys talking about sports? Or a girl. Don't want to say guy. Go check out the press conference because we stopped paying attention at that point. We came back for Command & Conquer Rivals. Now, I'm a huge Command & Conquer fanboy, mm-hmm. and they made it into a mobile game. Which is, like, your worst enemy. So, I'm pretty pissed about that. <laughs> However, it looked like an interest. As far as mobile games go, it looked kind of interesting. Especially a PvP mobile game. I'm not into that at all, either. So, it looked, it looked, it looked kind of cool. They had recognizable units from the franchise. They had kind of a team Mammoth tank. Mammoth tanks. Uh, they pulled out two, I guess, very popular gamers. I don't know. I, I knew uh, In Control from StarCraft. And then That's there's another one, and they brought them out to play on their phones on stage Yeah. to show us how the game works. That was the weird part. So when they were showing the gameplay, they had to like have one box with zoomed in on the phone and one box zoomed in on like the actual what was happening in the game. Like, we don't need to see what they're doing with their phone. We can't even see the game. Like Just show us the well, game. I think they were trying to show how easy it can be to play. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you, um, you end up not being able to screen. see either, like, very well. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. So that was a bit of a weird choice. Um, yeah, I just really wish they... Because they announced that they were going to make a new Command & Conquer full game at one point, and then they canceled it. Bioware was supposed to make it, and I was like, I like Bioware. Or I did. And, uh, yeah, so this is a little... Are, this we, is, are, you, are we allowed to like Bioware? I'm not <laughs> sure anymore. I mean, I loved Mass Effect and Dragon Age. <laughs> Oh, angry. Uh-oh. Well, we can talk about that one at the end. Okay. Um, so, Sorry. yeah. Right, rivals. <laughs> angry! It looks neat, but a huge letdown from what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing to cap it off, since it was not a very long conference, to be honest. Not a lot done. There's a lot of talking. Not a lot of games. But uh, it was Anthem, which... I feel like we know very little more than we knew last year. Like, they didn't really... They had the trailer that was basically the same thing. Well, they, they, brought, they brought the people. They brought some developers up on stage, and I think the most important one that was on stage was the story um, line writer lady. Yes. Because then at least now we have some context to what the heck. They actually talked a bit about the about. world, what's happening. So I think that made a difference. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, now it doesn't just look generic robot thing. They did. They did say that it, it's going to be uh, when you're out in the field, so to speak. It's going to be in kind of open multiplayer experience but when you're back at home it's your own single player experience mm-hmm. and and it sounds like they have an actual storyline in place which is a lot more interesting than when you do like those multiplayer MMO things that have very little story and you're just kind of running around blowing stuff up so I'm a little more hopeful than I was I'll say that we'll actually get a single player thing here Jeff was not into it at all really um, we, are, we are talking <laughs> about Anthem right? yes Anthem okay good because I, I sort of zoned out see uh, he- He's on out during the it's talking. It's your the podcast. Conference. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. He hate means nothing to me. He's not. Um, since Andromeda, I honestly could give two craps about anything he hates. That does. really turned you off, didn't yeah. it? I bought three copies of that game. Why? Or two of them. I got a PC <laughs> oh. copy, and I got uh, and I got a PS4 copy. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, I didn't even finish the game. It ticked me off so much. Um, when it comes to Anthem looks like it could be interesting but it looks like they've just taken Destiny put it in third person Mm -hmm. and added another class which is what you commented on earlier I did say that yeah Uh, so I don't sound like I'm stealing your comment (laughs) no but I am you can steal it it's I it it just felt like Destiny 2 and we're having a crap ton of fun playing it yeah yeah I I'm not too excited about this flying around everywhere. See, I think that's kind of the cool difference between the two is that it looks like you can fly around places and do kind of a vertical. To me, like I commented on this earlier too, yeah. we're looking at all this stuff, all this work they put into the landscape and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And we're just flying over and ignoring it. Yeah. Um, but it looks good from a distance. Well, yeah. <laughs> but um, will I buy the game? I. Yeah, probably. But 
It looks like it might be fun, but it does look a lot like this Bad one. Set. I am going to wait for reviews. Yeah, uh, I don't reviews. typically That's, do that because I don't trust reviews for the most part. That's usually a good practice, though, is to at least wait to see what but, people think. Even if you don't trust reviews, to see like actual gameplay to see what people are yeah. talking about. Yeah. That's usually a good idea. I don't always follow it because sometimes they're like, E3 deals are on and it's $30 off the game. Like, I'm buying it. Yeah. Because I get suckered in by the yeah. cheap, the but, cheap aspect of it all. But. but I just really hope that it's not going to be so open-ended like, what was that Monster Hunter game? Oh, Monster Hunter World? Which yeah. is like the worst game I've ever I still can't experienced. Believe, it's off topic, but I still can't believe that they got such good reviews. I was like, let's play it. It's got good reviews. How did let's everyone it give such good reviews to that? Oh, I don't know. that game was not good. I'm sorry, Monster Hunter World fans. I know there's a lot of you out there. I know you're rabid about the games, but that was a terrible game. I stand by it. Didn't even work in multiplayer for the first thing. Broke. Yeah, no, people like that game because they already like that kind of that game. So it's never... A, <laughs> just it's a, it's it's weird. But it, all you know. around, people were like, "This is a great game," and I was very, I like, think, surprised. I think yeah. that, uh, most reviewers felt they had to say that because the first time we've got a mainline release on a console, yeah, yeah, in North America. But oh, I mean, maybe that. I, I, I not that it, that's a good excuse. That's not. But I think that's why a lot of people did it. That's not okay. I admit that that's not my type of game normally. However. It is also just bad. <laughs> like it, 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 it was boring. You had to run everywhere. To, like, I know tracking down monsters is kind of the thing, but like it wasn't an interesting tracking down of the monsters. It was like follow the glow flies and click on stuff. Like it wasn't that fun to me. Yeah. There was really no strategy behind it. It was pretty much just you know run around following the shiny thing and then oh, find and the monster and you start whacking him and he flies off and you run after him. Start whacking at him and he flies off. And it like, takes this is you like awful. 40 minutes to kill a monster in like oh, yeah. IRL, like real life time. I don't time. understand how that's fun. Like fighting the monster, sure. But when it keeps flying off and you have to chase it across the world, like that's that's just annoying. <laughs> I hate when NPCs do that. Yeah. Like just, let's just fight. Stop running away so I have to chase you. Like, ugh. Yeah. Oh, Anyways. I don't get it. Back to Anthem. I just yes. hope that it's not going to be like that mm -hmm. where they're like, your friends can join you in your missions and stuff. But they can't join you in your story time because that's. It sounds what like it that's what they're going for. But that that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Of of how that game went and that was boring. As long as it, they can integrate that seamlessly, like you you have your own story, but you can play with your friends, kind of like what they did with um, uh, the the MMO, uh, the Old Republic, where you had your own story, like class storyline, mm -hmm. but your and your friends could be there. Um, but they don't. So in in a, in a multi in the multiplayer area, whenever you're trying to make decisions, it did a dice roll to see who made the decision based on their own alignment. Okay, so Final Fantasy XIV does the same thing, mm -hmm. except you don't get a dice roll on who makes the decision. It just separates your cutscene. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so that's one way of doing it. Yeah. This one was whoever. So if you picked the nice thing and your friend picked the bad thing, but you on the roll, you'd get nice side points or light side points. Okay. But you'd do the bad thing. Okay. So that's how it worked. But in it, but if you're in your story mission, your your roles always won because it was your story mission. So they can come come with and help you on your class mission, but you get to make the decisions. And if you went to help them on theirs, they get to make the decision, like that kind of thing. They, I found they did, did a really good balance in that sense. Okay. So there there's a way that they could do it. They've already got a framework for how to do that. I think. But uh, we'll see we'll see what they do. Yeah. I, I'm interested more than I was. But I'm still very cautious. I want to know more about the story. Yeah. I don't want to know more about the mechanics and like the different suits you can wear all the time. I I want to know more about the story because literally that's the only way that I would be interested in playing that game. Yeah. As long as the story is the storyline's good. Is good. I've been disappointed before. <laughs> I, I liked Andromeda so. a lot more than you guys did, but at the same time, it was still very You know bizarre. what happened when I finished that game? You remember what happened. I finished that game, and then I didn't play video games for months. I know you were depressed. <laughs> I was depressed. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I felt. Yeah. Like, if this is what gaming has turned into, I'm not I don't want a part of it. Yeah, it was it was bad. I That's had, literally how I felt. Yeah. I still had fun with it, but yeah, it was nowhere near where it was. Like it was such the a huge. The only job thing I could give good about that game is it looked great. 
And I thought the, Most shooting, of I thought the, the shooting was pretty good. Most of the time. The shooting and the jetpacking, I thought that was pretty fun. Faces, We're initially, awful. bad. <laughs> so bad. Improved a little bit. But, wow. Just. I don't know who it thought it was a good idea was, to farm that up to that other. There, well, it was their C team or whatever, right? Yeah. Or, it was, but it was, it was broken at yeah. release. Yeah. yeah. It was... Not that interesting story wise. No. It had so much potential. They could have done so much with it. It was the not bad guy never felt. Well, I was never scared. No, no. the bad guys were. Whereas awful. the Reaper scared the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But yeah, they're like that they're noise. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> it haunts my dreams to this day. Really, it does. Though, really, <laughs> it there does. was nothing about those guys in Andromeda that did that. No, yeah, nothing. They did not fear. Sometimes, a side note, but sometimes our, our uh, car makes that noise when it starts up the music. I forget. Oh, there's one song that we yeah, have yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. kind of makes that noise at the beginning. <laughs> and we're both like, <laughs> get down. No. Get down, the Reapers are here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, so the way that game turned out, like I still had fun with it. But at the same time, a lot of people hated it. And I see why. And I, there's a lot of things I hated about it. It was boring, for one. Yeah. Um, but... I still had a decent amount of like I got I got my money's worth out of it I would say, um, but that makes me very cautious for Anthem. I really want them to I, come back. The, with the positive favorite. thing is we have the real team on this. Yes, and they talked a lot about characters yes. and about the story, and I was like, that's great. Except that's everything what makes they, they talked about, it still didn't. I mean, yeah, that's great. We're talking about it, and obviously they're talking about because everybody's concerned, right? That it's going to be. Bad. Is this game going to be good or not? Yeah, and I think but, it probably will be good. Mm-hmm. I'm just that's the main thing. after a drama. I'm just incredibly cautious with Bioware. Yes, yeah. because let's be honest. I know a lot of people don't care about that much about story. A lot of people are like gameplay only guys or girls. Mm-hmm. But Bioware games have always been about characters and about storyline. Exactly. First, really. Exactly. On top of an action RPG. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and this is this is that's why we want as Bioware fans in general, at least before Andromeda, that's what we want to see, right? Yep. So, but, but they, they, did, they yeah. did. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I was gonna wrap up. Yeah. Just say that uh, they said there was no loot boxes, which mm-hmm. is great. Yes. There's gonna be some cosmetics you can buy, which is pretty standard. But you'll know what you're buying. But you'll know what you're buying, so which is a lot better than loot boxes. Yeah. I know we complained about those things a few years ago, but they seem good now in comparison, which is kind of sad. But anyway, and they said the release date is February 22, 2019. So. It's good to have a release date. Yeah, it's good. To, uh, sure will it release then? Uh, I kind of have a feeling it'll probably get put off another couple months. I feel like it'll be this summer. Um, probably this summer. We'll see. I think it's possible. Yeah. So. I don't. I don't believe in release dates anymore because I feel like nobody follows those. They like give you a release <laughs> well, date to make you happy. We're too used to square. Used to Square Enix. Yeah. Because the, the last ten years <laughs> they've pushed their stuff back so many times. And then they made a horrible game. Sorry, I said it. Anyways. No, it's true. Um. Oh, but Unravel is available now. Yes, that was yes, actually interesting. that is available now. That, that was too, cool. Right? Like, I was happy about that. I like when they do that. They're like, yeah. and it's available now. Have fun. And like, we're like, uh, thank you. Like when, when Bethesda did that, was it last year? Or you, the one, the year your uh, Fallout 4 came out. They were like, Fallout 4, we're announcing it. Also, it's coming out in a month. And you're like, oh. Also, great. it'll be available soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll take it, you know. Yeah. And but, everybody booked their vacations. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saddest thing, though. Like, I'm upset. I wanted just like an image, just like a noise, something to say that Dragon Age Four is in the works. Because it's been rumored. It's rumored so hard. They said nothing about Dragon Age. So that's well, not it. A wasn't piece. rumored so hard this year, but last year, I mean, they were like, "It's coming." Yeah. And then it didn't happen. And then nothing happened. I feel so. like they're stuck right now. It's working too hard. After and Andromeda, they're stuck now. Well, who are they going to put on that game? I don't the know. The main team's working on Anthem. I don't know. And you can't put that other team on it because, geez, the, they'll never sell the, a copy of it. No. So. No. So we probably got to wait for Anthem to come out before we can snap yeah. Dragon Age again. But and man, whether those I people even want to do it anymore, right? Yeah. Who I knows? just really hope so. Because that's like my favorite franchise. I would. <laughs> Dragon Age and then Dragon Age in space. I was <laughs> personally hoping to hear about, uh, like a... Uh, High, no, it's, the games were all already HD when they were released, but uh, like uh, an updated version of the Mass Effect trilogy, just to, yeah. like especially for the first one, the first one get some real higher definition textures and some uh, and stuff like that. 
Yeah. Um, Some smoother gameplay would be nice on that one. It's it's aged a little. Well, I still play it, but it, it'd, it'd be too it. hard to change the gameplay because you, you really you got to rip the game apart to do that. But if but they could, that'd put, be great. Oh yeah, but <laughs> it's easier to put. Text. Do you do you want them to like re-release it like like how Dark Souls is re-released every half year? Like is no, that? No, 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 no. I don't want a new one. I don't want to. Well, well no, she's I talking about the remaster. remaster. They just the remaster. remaster oh, they and all did that, that kind of stuff yeah. over and over and over again. No, I don't want them to keep doing it. I just like. Especially Mass Effect 1, the textures are so low resolution on anything you play it on now, it looks really, really bad. It looks grainy. Well, you can turn, that's well, you can turn that that's, off. You can turn that off. Wait, that was something that they had on Andromeda, wasn't well, yeah. it? You can turn it on and off, the film grain. I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. Oh. It made the oh. game like the worst game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> film yeah. grain studios... Turn that shit off. <laughs> Why would you do that? You spend all this time making everything look pretty, and then you, like, film grain it. Yeah, it's like when you put in, like, the lens flares and the... Ugh! Oh, like they did in those Star Trek, uh, JJ Star Trek movies. Lens flares and shaky cams. Like, why? I can't see what's happening anymore. Well, shaky cam is one thing. Shaky cam is the worst. But I'm then sorry. you take it and add lens flares to it, and yeah. you can't even see anything that's going on Lens the flares, shaky cam, and then when people... <laughs> When, when um, especially like fight scenes and stuff, now people do like, like you're cut every second or every yeah. half second yeah. to a new angle. Yeah. Like, worst filmmaking ever. I don't know why anyone does the... that. They is, do it because they, the, the actors and stuff aren't doing a good job. They have to make yeah. it look better. Well, that's, well, uh, yeah. Or uh, they yeah. don't, you know, make a good... Who's guy that does the Transformers movies? Michael Bay? Yeah, uh, that's his way, his style of doing things. Blow everything Quick up. shots everywhere. Blow it up. He doesn't want I you to see anything because if you saw it, then you'd be disappointed. That but like they actually movie. have really good animations. The I, last night. Oh my god. Dude, I stopped I watching. I, I watched was, the first one. I stopped watching I was like, those. I was like, this is like my childhood in a bad movie, and I love it. And then I watched the second one. I was like, this is just a bad movie now. And then I stopped <laughs> watching it. So I really what happens. So that. I watched those first three, and I didn't mind them. And then they released the fourth one. And I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> And the, this last night, oh my goodness. Is it bad? The story... The, He's like... Uh, there wasn't the one? Oh. It was, like, it was like 15 stories, like in one movie. It was like, let's start this story and then forget about it. Let's go to this one. And uh, just... The <laughs> protagonist got into stuff that like no normal person would. And uh, Mark Wahlberg, weird. I just... I like Mark Wahlberg, but no. He shouldn't have done this. No. Um, <laughs> he needed and Optimus money Prime is the bad guy. Oh, no. spoiler alert. No, I think that Everyone was pretty Everyone knows. Obvious. That was the trailers. The trailer. I didn't know that. Oh. That was in the trailer. I'm watching like, nah, he can't be a bad guy. Shit, he's a bad guy. <laughs> so, uh, I was pretty, pretty upset about that because he's like my hero. I know. Yeah. I have a watch engraved with Optimus Prime on it from <laughs> Kevin. I know. Yeah. See, he was the coolest part of the first movie. And, and he was like the entire reason I liked the first movie. I am Optimus Prime. And then they brought back the voice actor from the old cartoon. I was like, yeah. Great. Yeah. Anyway, we're kind of off topic here. but Yeah, yeah way um, off topic. Uh, just, that, that's, that's kind that's of how with, much I don't care. That happens with the whole conference because, frankly, EA had a very boring conference. Boring. Yep. But, uh, in conclusion. Uh, we got, t- tomorrow we got more. Yes. We got Microsoft at four. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have no idea what they're going to show. Anything with Microsoft? We're talking maybe Halo 6, I think, is in the rumors. Which, I stopped really paying attention to the Halo game. Will, we, three, will we get a confirmation on Crackdown? Probably. Maybe they'll actually give us an actual date again. Date? Just a new trailer, maybe, to make us feel good? I actually like that Terry Crews trailer, even though it was very vague, but it had right. Terry Crews. I have to watch it again. I <laughs> I was like, yeah, Terry Crews. I, I like just it. like Terry Crews, Terry right? Crews Who doesn't great? like yeah. Terry Crews? Like He's awesome. Um, so... Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't. They don't have anything exclusive to talk about. No, I, I it, feel like what we're gonna see, we might see a Kingdom Hearts trailer. At my, uh, my Xbox. One that one that's already been played at uh, the concert. So supposed to be a concert going at on. Xbox. Yeah. You think you're play Kingdom Xbox? Hearts is on Xbox. Yeah, and yeah. PlayStation. Yeah. I both. thought it was a PlayStation only thing. Nope, it's on both. Um, Oh. But it'll be whatever trailer they did at this, or uh, they're doing some kind of orchestra thing, and mm-hmm. it, it, the trailer will probably do a debut there. Um, so I think we'll see something about that, but it won't be anything new. It'll be the same trailer. Yeah. Um, I think they'll save that 
they'll save a short trailer for a new short trailer for PlayStation, for Sony, mm-hmm. and then they got Square Enix's own thing. They'll have a some a Square, Square Enix. Well. Uh, Square Enix is on Monday at yeah. one p.m. and Sony's on not at nine on yeah. Monday. So probably have a couple extra things there. And now I'm hoping they show something. We're talking about this earlier. Hopefully they show something about uh, the new Ori and the well, the Blind Wisps. Phone. Yeah, that's possible to see something like that. Um, Love because they announced that and that game. That game was really fun. Yeah, I played it. I played it ways in, and then I like I'm like, right, I'm going back and forth the whole map, and I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do next. So I, I'll <laughs> figure it out someday if I ever go back to it. Microsoft comes up with some pretty cool little indie games, but uh, nothing. Uh, no, they're, they're they're big games. They just don't seem to we'll be we'll hear about them, a new so. Forza for sure. Uh, yeah, there there's be, rumors of a new Forza there Horizon. There should be a new Horizon coming in, um, uh, and. I don't know. There was also well, so there was rumors about a Halo. Fable game. Pardon me. There was rumors about a Fable game coming out at some point. You're I right. I think there was somebody about. talking about that. But uh, they, you they know, could I, use a that'd good be all right game. if they could do it without Lionhead because I think Lionhead it was kind of stale with them. Yeah, it's someone else um, I think has the rights or something. Yeah, but, uh, I forget who. <clears throat> they so, really don't have anything. Not a lot, but that that would that would be something. You're yeah, saying they crack down if they'd released this stupid game. <laughs> You're saying they need uh, they need to uh, have a couple home runs sooner because right now their first party stuff they is bad. They need something. They've done a lot of good stuff. They got the crossplay thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've you know crossplay is great. The uh, game pass is interesting, at least for me. Um, yeah, they got the game pass, um, but they, none, they, of, it, the one none X, of it makes me want to have an Xbox. The One X is a lovely piece of hardware, just nothing to use with it. <laughs> my, my, my One X is my new PC, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, which costs a lot more than that, but it's also... It does, capable. but you can use, usually use their... Most of um, their games are cross-compatible now. But, uh, yeah. Um, not sure what else... I don't know if there's anything I'm particularly looking for at Sony, because most of the stuff has been released now from the last one. Yeah, not sure what uh, Sony will do. There's rumors that there may be a new handheld announcement. There, there's something, I, something, something's cooking with hardware. There's Whether something it's about that. I think, I think it's very realistic that we'll hear that the PlayStation Five is coming. Yeah, there's already been something about the PlayStation 5's technology with AMD. Uh, Ryzen r- based rumors. Yeah, there's something with that. But it, it'll be, it'll be sure, it'll be. Uh, Ryzen and Vega based, I'm sure of that. But they also said it's not coming for a long time, so we're probably looking at 2020, 2021 I'm, before the comes I'm out. betting early 2021 or late 2020, yeah. Yeah. So uh, probably not but they did that. announce that the PlayStation 4 is getting to end of life. Yes. Uh, which is surprising, because they haven't even announced a new console, which makes it very likely they'll be talking about it. Yeah. There was some There was some, There's some, it, some weird rumor, like they're going to do a Switch ripoff, which will never happen. At least not for their main console, which is what this one person was writing. I could see them doing something switchy with a side console, like a Vita Switch type thing. PSP Switch kind of kind yeah, of thing. But but it, I, it, yeah, we'll see. I, I would like another Sony handheld, that'd be all right. Um, but although my Switch is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't um, think of anything else. So, like, you know, we got Square Enix. There's uh, Square Enix coming up. Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, That'll be released probably, I'm guessing, probably either September or November this year. Uh, we may see something about Final Fantasy VII. Maybe. Maybe just another trailer. That'll come out when, you know, kids are old, our kids are old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah the only what thing- would blow my mind is hearing something about the next Final Fantasy. Oh, you won't, you're not going to get anything like that yet. Well, you hope no. Well, no. I no, hope. I they're hope still do. trying to improve fifteen. Final Fantasy fifteen they keep, too. They keep adding more and more. And well, yeah, more. they got the the MMO thing coming right, or it's out now or whatever. Yeah. Um, fifteen too, guys. But that's a separate team now. I think they're obsessed with fifteen, like they were with thirteen, which is too bad. I don't know if it goes quite that far because the main team isn't even on fifteen anymore. It's just a, another team doing that stuff. Yeah, I just... Um, the main team has moved on to a new IP, completely new. Mm. Wouldn't it be awesome if they had, like, a, like a new Chrono something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. Chrono like that. Fantasy 2 star. <laughs> <laughs> the reckoning of the, the reckoning. timeline. Yeah. <laughs> the reckoning of time. Yeah. 
Time moon. Time moon. <laughs> Time moon, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so other thing on Monday or Sunday t- uh, tomorrow is Bethesda at nine thirty. Um, right. I don't know. You guys are not big into Bethesda games. I like them, so I'm kind of excited to see what they do with Fallout seventy six, which they already announced with that really weird marketing. A lot of people not impressed, man. Well, I'm worried because online survival game Fallout doesn't sound as doesn't sound like what I want. I want Fallout. What is with survival? <laughs> I don't know. That's good. Like there are games out there now that if you want to. Feed the game. You have to feed your character. Yeah. No. <laughs> feed him. That's Jeff. way too much of a simulation to me. I'm not. You know, I never thought I'd be in a survival so game. That's but. like me watching Star Trek and waiting for them. Oh, I need to go use the washroom because that's correct. Like you need to. You need to show those. Bits, I've, right? I haven't seen a survival game where you actually have to use the facilities. Well, I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't eat, happened though. yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the next thing. Yeah. I never thought I'd be in a survival games, but I, I played that long dark game. And, I and you killed it. rabbits. You had to eat, all right? Did you see how that rabbit looked at you? Yeah, he was so cute. That was wrong. I had to eat. Survival. The rabbit looks at you and he's like, hi. And you're like, whatever. And you just back. killed it. Chunk. That was ho- that was the worst thing I've ever there's, seen. There's no farming. It's the winter. It's, a, it's very winter. You can't... You can fish. So eat like, bark. Yeah. <laughs> but why no, did you well, have most to do the, time, the neck? Couldn't you just kill it from far away? Most of the time, what you're eating is With what? They're fast. So if you got it yeah. in your hand, that's the best time to kill a rabbit. You can. So there's two ways to catch rabbits. <laughs> in the game. There, well, there's three ways. You can trap them and then do that, and snap their necks. Yeah. You can hit them with a rock if you're lucky. Yeah. And then snap their necks. Uh-huh. Or you can shoot them with a gun. But you have limited ammo when you finally get the gun later. Yeah. So if you shoot the ammo. Right. That's when all the zombies come. I mean, well, there's no zombie. That know, one's not a zombie one, but. Anyway, so Fallout, like Fallout seems like a perfect scenario to do a survival game, to be honest with you, because it's, you know... Well, no, that, that makes but, perfect sense. Um, and it's, like, really early. Like, yeah. it's 25 years after the nuclear Did, explosion. Uh, Kevin was... Is it supposed to be co-op? Uh, yeah. So, okay, yeah, see... They're saying it's a That's sort of interesting kind. to me. So, there's potential. As long as you can get... do Like, if they like do that's, it, that's potentially the first time Fallout's really been kind of interesting to me. Yeah. Like you could actually go through it and co op. I've been asking for that with Call of Duty for years, and that's never going to happen. World of War had it, man. Four player co op. Yeah, I know, but then nothing <laughs> else had it. They're not even doing a campaign now for Black Ops. Now we're just getting an online game from yeah. them. No no campaign for Black Ops. Why'd they even so, call it Black Ops? I don't know. Should we just call it Call of Duty Multiplayer? <laughs> I don't know why they did that. So we'll see what Bethesda's got. Um, <laughs> We're just going to sit here and complain about complain, everything we much. think they'll offer. Yes. Let's just wait until it's we see job. what they have. It's our job. We're supposed to sound skeptical now. But then after, we're like, yeah! No, I don't know. Most I don't of, think uh, I'm ever that way. Let's have Ubisoft coming up. Uh, uh, I don't know if anyone's got anything interesting for Ubisoft. That Beyond Good and Evil 2 game they showed last year might be interesting. That looked kind of fun. I think this... I never well, played won't. Beyond Good and Evil. Be but apparently years. there's like a cult following. Yeah. They said it's going to be a couple of years before another Assassin's Creed, right? So there won't be anything... Well, there was rumors of uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey coming out. Yes. So, which is a Greek one, like Odysseus yes. kind of thing. So we'll see what that happens. They can't stop. They have to keep <laughs> making money. Well, Origins, I think, did pretty good, didn't it? Origins did really well. So that's kind of like their resurgence, where they actually changed the formula a little bit. Because they actually made a game instead of... What formula? They made a new game instead of the same game. What formula? It's the same game! But they put RPG stuff in the new ones. Yeah. Like, you can get gear and stuff. and To make it interesting. They added some stuff, but people... uh, Apparently went over pretty good. Make more games with Altair, please. Thank you very much. Bring back Assassin's Creed Remastered RPG mode. With Altair. <laughs> RPG mode. There's no fighting. It's we talk our way out of everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. The the what is that? The passive mode. Yeah. Passive like, mode. <laughs> what, it, what was the game that? Uh, what's the big deal with that? Uh, oh, Undertale. Yeah, Undertale. Pacifist mode. Yeah. See, I I tried to play that game and I I. I never oh, played. Man, it. I wanted to play as I a got pacifist. Like, like it's cool, but like I wanted to play as a pacifist, but like. They still have random encounters as you when you're when you're a pacifist. Yeah. So you have to do like the same thing over and over again. Yeah. To get past the same people, you're like this is boring. No, I, I didn't enjoy it either. So cool concept. Like, well, like it, I, with it was all done by one guy, right? Yeah. Which was, really, which was why everybody's really cool. like, oh, "This is amazing." Well, it's really cool that he did that, but I think also by the time that that game actually came out, I or I, by the time I actually bought that game, I was like, I had heard about everyone was talking about it, and I was like, I'm sick of hearing about it, so. That was a bit of a, a bit of bias against it in my mind. Yeah. But 
Yeah. Beyond Good and Evil 2. That was the one I was interested in for movies off. I never played the original. Uh, is there it another Steep kind of coming? I don't know. I hadn't heard about that. I think it was Steep 2 or something. Steep 2, maybe. Yeah. Wait, was Steep that one? Steep was, was the one that I was in the alpha for. That was the that? most hilarious thing I've ever <laughs> seen. Remember <laughs> that? Fall out of Chef's first attempt to play Steep the alpha, he just fell backwards. You <laughs> fell <laughs> And then you tried it again, and then you just like just felt like you Those didn't even Those are the only move. couple times I was able to even get the game to boot. Yeah, yeah, there was some. Uh, so it's running Crossfire, and that's I'm crossfire sure that's why I broke. And then it just you just ragdolled for like yeah, twenty minutes. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I wish it was ca- it was captured on something. That was the most <laughs> hilarious thing. <laughs> It would have been great. Yeah, I would, it might have went that. viral even if I yeah. Yeah. recorded that. Like steep gameplay, just you tumbling down <laughs> for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Hitting trees and stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Wow. Uh, uh, we got some other stuff coming up too. I've got a bunch of stuff to review. Like a yeah. wrap ton of stuff. Got a bunch of new equipment. Uh, built a new computer. Yeah. So I got a lot of stuff to do with that. Uh, got a new phone, so we can talk about that at some point. We didn't do a lot of techno babble this podcast so far. Mostly just no, we're together. not really focusing on that for this one. Um, I've got uh, picked up the Oculus. What's it called? Go. Oculus Go. Picked that up. Uh, got a new video card for my main computer, which is really nice. It is shiny. Um, Dan really wants it. Uh, I'm gonna steal it when he's not looking. <laughs> I already did. Don't tell him. <laughs> I already did. I imagine we go. No, nah, I'm guarding it. So, oh, okay. so, so uh, I think that's it for us. Uh, is there anything else anybody want to talk about? We'll no. probably we might be back with some more commentary tomorrow. Maybe we watch the other conferences. Yes. So and uh, talk about that. But thank y'all for joining us, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.